Perimeter, find the missing side length. Find the value of x if the perimeter of the figure is 30. So we know that perimeter is the outside of the shape. So this side plus this side plus this side plus this side would equal 30. So that would be, I'm gonna write it here on the inside, 10, which is this side, plus 10, which is this side, plus five, which is this side, plus something equals 30. So let's add it together, 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus five, plus something equals 30. We add the 20 and the five, we get 25 plus something equals 30. Well, 25 plus five equals 30. Now, if we look at this one, we look at 30 or 13 and 13, the, the perimeter of the whole thing is 36. So we need to add all four side lengths and that would give us 36. So this side length is 13 plus 13 plus five plus blank equals 36. So 13 and 13 makes 26. So 26 plus five plus blank equals 36. So 26 plus five is 31. 31 plus something equals 36. Well, 31 plus five equals 36. Ooh, find the value of X if the perimeter of the figure is 28. So there are a lot of sides to this figure. So let's make sure that when we add our perimeter together, we're adding every side length. So four plus two plus three plus three plus three plus four plus seven plus that missing or that X equals 28. So let's add, well, four plus two is six. Three plus three, well, that's six. Three plus four is seven. And then we still have the seven plus seven plus something. So now let's add six plus six. Well, six plus six is 12. Seven plus seven is 14. So 12 plus 14 plus something equals 28. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Two plus four is six. So this would be 26 plus something equals 28. Well, 26 plus two would equal 28. So our missing side length is two. We have another really long one here. So we have eight plus two plus five plus three plus two plus eight plus seven. So that's this one. And this one plus blank, we don't know what this one is, plus x equals 40. So now let's start to solve. So eight plus two is 10. So 10 plus five plus three is eight, plus two plus eight is 10, and then we have plus seven plus x equals 40. So now let's keep solving. Well, 10 plus eight is 18. 10 plus seven is 17. 
So 17 plus 18 plus x equals 40. So 17 plus 18, well 10 and 10 is 20. And 8 plus 7 is 15, so 20 plus 15 is 35 plus x equals 40. Well, that would be 5. Here's another one here. We have four side lengths for this one, so it might be a little bit easier to add. We have 10 plus 2 plus 8 plus x equals 28. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 plus 8 plus x equals 28. And 12 plus 8 is 20. 20 plus x equals 28. So 20 plus 8. Find the value of x if the perimeter of the figure is 25. So we have 5, 5, 5, 5 plus x equals 25. So count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20. So 20 plus what equals 25? Well, that would be 5. Now we also have a regular shape here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. Regular means that all the sides are equal. So if I'm looking here, I see a regular hexagon. Six sides is a hexagon, and each one is four, which means that this missing side should also be four meters. Uh, we have another regular hexagon here. Let's try counting this time. So three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, plus how many more equals 18? Well, that would be three. This one, we have another regular hexagon, but our sides are different. These are five. So five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus five is 20, plus five is 25, and we need it to equal 30. So 25 plus what equals 30? Well, that's five. We have another regular hexagon, but this time our side lengths are equal to three. So count with me. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 15 plus 3 equals 18. Great job.